Resident Evil has always been very hit or miss when it comes to their live action adaptations, and usually it's a miss. But when people saw what Netflix was getting ready to do, when they announced that they're going to do a Resident Evil live action series, people were extremely worried. Because not only did this promotional image look like a terrible CW show, but the decisions they made by casting someone for a historic villain like Albert Wesker had a lot of people very worried about how close they were going to be to the source material. Well, now we have a trailer for this, and the results are not great. They're terrible, but they're exactly what everyone expected. When you look at this trailer, it is getting absolutely destroyed. This morning, it's been out for, uh, I, I don't know, maybe uh, 12, 16 hours, something like that. 146,000 downvotes to 30,000 upvotes. It's number eight on trending. A lot of people are seeing it, but unfortunately for Netflix, a lot of people are absolutely despising this. And it's not a surprise. Again, we knew from the beginning when they released these images, when they told you what this story was going to be about, it feels like a CW show. It looks like a CW show. And some of the casting decisions they made, like this one, Netflix race swaps Albert Wesker in new Resident Evil live action series. And when you look, when you look at Albert Wesker, he could not look more different than the person they've chosen to play him, even though he is a, a very good actor, a very talented actor, I would say. Lance Reddick, I've seen him in a lot of stuff, and I think he's pretty good in a lot of stuff. But unfortunately, that's not what the character looks like. How many times do we have to say this? How many times over and over again do we have to say this, that when you're looking at a video game, which is a visual medium, or a comic book, which is a visual medium, and you decide to go completely contrary to what people recognize as that character in the visual medium, immediately you are telling people that you don't care about the source material. And that is clearly self-evident just from this trailer. Now, I'm not going to play it for you, because I'd probably get copyright claimed by Netflix if I did. You can go through it and you can see that, you know, they're going to New Raccoon City in 2022, which we did hear that the entire plot of this is going to be Albert Wesker's kids kind of discovering that maybe he's up to no good and then jumping forward in a timeline to London, I think 2036 in London, where then some of these same characters are now fighting zombies and doing things like this and trying to figure out what happened, fighting these beasts. But the trailer is not good. It's just action, 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 action that you can't really tell what's going on. You have no idea what this is going to be about. But it's enough to make people dislike it this badly. Look at the comments section. It's genuinely impressive how Resident Evil movies keep fumbling such great source material. This has big, we bought a script and slapped Resident Evil on it vibes. It should just be a standalone series. It can't possibly be this hard to make a faithful, well-done Resident Evil adaptation. My goodness. When you make the movie look like a masterpiece, you have a problem. My favorite game series just keeps getting bodied one live action over another. I really want to spend years of my life becoming a movie director while planning a good and accurate Resident Evil live action movie. This couldn't look less like Resident Evil. I don't get it. Of course you don't get it, because it's not about Resident Evil. It, it, in the same way that so many other of these adaptations, right, it, it is not about doing justice to what came before it. It's not about paying honor and tribute to the legacy of this IP or these characters or anything like that or the fans. It's about using a name that people know in hopes that that will get people to watch and then pushing your own identity politics down everybody's throat. That's what it's about. That's why we've seen Netflix with this massive stock drop off in recent years. You know, their, their stock has bounced back a touch after it dropped nearly 70% over a few months because of so many decisions. The subscribers fleeing from Netflix. It's been bad for them. This is not going to help things. This is only going to make things worse. You already, again, already nearly 150,000 dislikes to only 30,000 upvotes. That is a hell of a ratio uh, for something that's being seen a lot. Over a million views on this. But it just continues to get worse for Netflix. But but that's that's what happens. When you make decisions like this based on identity politics, when you give people a Resident Evil show that looks like a CW show, of course, the fans are going to reject it. And that's exactly what they've done. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.